everyone. Thank you for watching this video. This video is part of the series that I'm making for incoming licensure examination for agriculture. If you are new to this video, guys, kindly click the subscribe button below and also click the notification bell for you to be notified if I have a new videos to be uploaded. And don't forget to like and share the video, okay? So right, like, right now, ang pag-uusapan po natin is all about soil science, particularly soil genesis, as what you um, have seen doon pa sa ating thumbnail, that question is an example of soil science, okay? So let us proceed now to our question. Question is, a rock formed from the solidification and crystallization of molten rocks called magma. It is also called mother of all rocks. So what is this kind of rock? So we have here uh, the choices, letter A, igneous rock, B, intrusive rack c exclusive rack d metamorphic rack so if you are already knew if you already knew what is the correct answer for this no uh so you can now proceed to the uh discussion for you to have you no know, uh uh, to extend your knowledge, no, to expand pa more knowledge you know, about about sa uh, soil science, about rocks. So actually, this is the first thing to know, no, sa soil science. It's a yung rock talaga, no, kung saan nagsimula yung soil. So it's it's talk about rock, okay? It's it's uh, a study of rock. It is called petrology, okay? Don't forget that, guys. Ha, study of rock is, is called petrology. So let us proceed now to our discussion. But if you don't know yet the, the the answer for this, so you may hit pause para uh, matagutan nyo or ma ma analyze nyo mabuti kung ano talaga yung tamang sagot sa question nato. And then after the discussion, there will be showing of the correct answer. Okay, so right now let us proceed to our discussion. Okay, racks. Racks are, what is the meaning of racks? So, uh, racks are consolidated aggregates of minerals. Pag sinabing consolidated aggregates, big sabihin pinagsama-sama, uh, compacted, na, uh, compacted na minerals. Okay, so we have here consolidated, pinagsama consolidated, sabihin pinagsama-sama, pag sabihin aggregates, they are compacted to each other. Okay, so of minerals. Okay, so when it, when it talks about the study of racks, it is petrology. Don't forget that, okay? It's petrology. Next, man, we have here three classes of rock, okay? We have here uh, igneous racks, metamorphic racks, and number three is sedimentary rock. But before we proceed to other classes of rocks, we have here the metamorphic, igneous, and sedimentary. So let us uh, discuss for igneous before proceeding to these two, okay? The metamorphic and sedimentary. So let us focus this discussion on the igneous rock, okay? So now, uh, to move on, we have two categories of igneous rocks based on the composition. Pag sinabing composition, ibig sabihin the type of uh, minerals that this, 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 uh, the type of the minerals that rocks, um, na meron ng isang rocks, okay? So, saan ba rich ang isang rock na to, okay? Ano bang minerals ang, ano bang minerals na rich ang rocks na ito? Is it, in rich of iron, rich of magnesium, ganon. So we have here two categories of igneous rocks. We have mafic, example, mafic in rich in magnesium and uh, iron minerals. Okay, so pag hindi nyo malala because it is not actually um, commonly used yung the word mafic. So gawin na lang natin. We have here mag since it's magnesium, the first letter is M. So let us put here M. Okay, maalala nyo lang, no? So let us make something that that makes you retain your knowledge or your, you know, yung binabasa or yung review nyo para hindi agad makalimutan. Okay, so we have also here, pag sinabi mo namang mafic, we have here iron. So yung the first letter is F. So we have here, yan, okay. Yes, so we have here letter F also. So we have here, enriched in magnesium, pag sinabi nga, pag, uh, what, what if the question is, what uh, what categories what categories of igneous rock based on the composition that is enriched in magnesium and iron minerals? So makita nyo agad that there is a clue or a hint already given. So um, we have here the magnesium since the the first letter is M and also the the irons and the first letter is uh, we have here F. So we already knew if pag nasa choices na uh, mafic, so that is the correct answer, okay? So let us see that later. 
And next naman, we have number two, we have Felsic. Felsic naman is enriched in Feldspar Minerals. So, in order to, for you to return or retain or paalala ang isang, uh, ang isang uh, uh, type of, uh, you know, categories of rocks, we have here the word Feldspar. Enriched in Feldspar. Pag sinabi enriched in Feldspar, the first, the first, second, and the third letter of the word is fell. So, we have here the word fell. Okay? Para lang siya maalala. Okay? That's how you review uh, when it comes to soul signs para mas madali siya maalala. Okay? If you are using mnemonics, no? By studying soul science, that's a very good uh, type of method that you are using right now. If you are using right now that time of that type of method, no? Mas maganda talaga gamitin pag mnemonics ka pagdating sa soil science kasi uh, madaming mga you know terms na kailangan memorize pero madali lang silang matandaan because of the definition no the, the the definition of the terms and also kung mahilig kang gumawa ng mnemonics lalo na pag ginagawa mo siya ng mga pangalan that is related to you okay so it is you know mnemonics is just you know summarizing summarizing the uh, summarizing the terms okay gagawa ka using the first letter or the second letter as long as it it will compose or it will compose of uh, as long as it will compose something that is uh, related to you na maalala mo siya okay so next we have here so that that is the two categories of igneous rocks we have also here the two groups of igneous rocks based on the mode of formation pag sinabi naman formation uh, klase no formation we have here the exp later on uh Gusapan natin what is this type of formation, okay? Two groups of igneous rocks based on the mode of formation. We have here first the extrusive or effusive or volcanic or volcanic rocks, okay? Rocks that reach the earth's surface. Pag sinabi mo namang reach the earth's surface and it is volcanic, meaning outside the volcano. Okay, if ever this is the volcano, I'm sorry for my diagram. Apology, so hindi talaga ako marunong gumamit. No, and I don't know also how to draw. So, pag sinabi naman, if this is the volcano, and it, uh, it's go and it's going to be erup an eruption, there will be an eruption. So, ganyan, there will be an eruption. So, therefore, the the exclusive or effusive or volcanic rocks found is actually reached the Earth's surface, meaning it found outside the volcanic outside the volcano rather outside the volcano so later on actually meron naman tayong diagram for you to um picture out where is this exclusive or effusive or volcanic rocks located okay take note of other terms for exclusive okay we have your effusive and volcanic aside pa kasi pag ginagamit kasi sa during sa exam hindi minsan ginagamit ang exclusive minsan ginagamit yung effusive minsan ginagamit yung volcanic okay so not just you know not just stick to one term, but also know, uh, but also you need to know the other term for that, okay? Another for exclusive, okay? Next, we have here number two. Another two, another groups of igneous rocks based on the mode of formation. We have intrusive, intrusive or plutonic, okay? We have here intrusive or plutonic. What is this rocks? Are rocks that form below the Earth's surface, okay? So, pag sinabi natin below, if this is the Earth's surface, guys, so, this is below, ibig sabihin sa baba, no? Sa baba ng surface. Below Earth's surface, if this is the Earth's surface, okay? So, meaning, pag sinabi below, sa baba, ibig sabihin ni, the rocks is forming sa baba, below the Earth's surface. So, later, malalitin if what is this intrusive or platonic rocks all about, or where is this located in volcano, Okay? Next, now, we have proceed now, let's proceed now to two groups of igneous rocks based on texture. Kanina, we have formation and also the, uh, yes, we have formation kanina. And now, let us move on to our base on the texture, okay? So, we have here, number one, alphanetic. Alphanetic is a fine texture rock, okay? Number two is phanaretic. Phanaretic, the man, is a coarse texture rocks. And uh, those two are two groups of igneous rocks. So, madami kasing klaseng rocks, uh, type of igneous rocks kasi merong, uh, uh, later on may mga picture naman tayo makikita uh, which is defined, will define you kung alin ba doon yung mga fine texture na rock, alin ba yung alphanetic, alin ba yung doon yung phanetic rocks. Okay? So, guys, if if the question given no, during the board exam, no, uh, uh, tinatanong kung anong tawag, no, anong tawag sa coarse texture rocks of igneous rocks. So, 
So you you already have the hint, no, which is the phonetic. Pag sinabi phonetic, phone meaning phonetic meaning a course meaning magaspang siya, magaspang siya na type na rocks. Pag sinabi mo naman alphanetic, alpha meaning fine meaning um uh, ano siya ah. Uh, uh, makinis. Okay, makinis siya na rocks. Hindi siya, hindi ka masasugan. Pag ginahawakan mo siya, makinis siya. Pag, pag course naman, pag ginahawakan mo siya, it's, there's a possibility na masasugatan ka because sa kanyang, ng dahil sa kanyang uh, kagaspangan. Okay? Next naman, we have here the last, the, the little rocks, is we have pyroclastic rocks. Actually, this pyroclastic rocks is part also of the igneous rocks. Uh, and then, the, it's a pyroclastic rocks. It's a volcanic rocks consisting of accumulation of fragments blasted from volcanoes. So, it is accumulation of fragments. Pag, take note of this. It consists, the, it's a rocks consisting of accumulation of fragments blasted from volcanoes. Ibig sabihin, pag sabihin, blasted from volcanoes, galing siya sa volcanoes. Pumutok na yung volcanoes. Ibig sabihin, galing siya doon. So, include blocks and bombs, which is, it has a... Uh, uh, greater than 64 millim uh, millimeter yung kanyang size. And we have also lapili. Uh, lapili is uh, 64 to 2 millimeter. And we have is N volcanic ash. Okay, we have uh, less than 2 millimeter. And take note, guys, about the current event of the volcanic ash uh, that was situated. No, that was situated. Kailan ba yun? Uh, that was situated nung pumutok yung. Um, uh, Taal Volcano sa, Bat sa Batangas or yes, yeah, sa, ba eh, yeah, sa Batangas so uh, take note of that guys kasi madami baka lalabas sa exam yung current events na yan baka tatanungin with what type of minerals does excuse me what type of uh, baka lalabas sa exam what type of uh, minerals does volcanic ash consist no, na, 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 na nakakatulong doon sa soil okay so yun na solution that Okay, para sa akin lang, ang pagkakalam ko lang is it's, it's um, potassium. So, no, rich in potassium yung volcanic ash na yun. So, next naman, we have here the... Yes, yeah, so this is the example of intrusive and exclusive rocks. Okay, intrusive rocks, as you can see, guys, um, we have here diorite, granite, granite, pegmatite, gabbro. So, those are examples of intrusive rocks. And we have also exclusive rocks. Here, example, we have basalt, Andesites, rhyolites, and scoria. So you don't need to know those definition of the following rocks as long as you are you know, identify uh, which these rocks categorize. No example, diorite saan ba siya nakaka, saan ba siya under, okay, this basalt, you know. So you should know those things, okay? So we have here example of vulcan. Yan. We have may, mga, may example tayo dito ng vulcan. And uh, and we have here the lava. Okay. So, here the lava, guys. Okay. So, saan ba dito located yung intrusive? Pag sinabi intrusive, ibig sabihin below the earth's surface. So, this is the earth's surface, right? So, ibig sabihin the rocks, of uh, the, the form of rocks are located. Pag sinabi intrusive rocks, okay? So, it meaning below. It means here. Okay. It means here. This, this is where the the intrusive rocks located. And the pag sinabi mo na, pag sinabi naman nating extrusive rocks is um outside, no? Outside or surface, meaning dito. Ibig sabihin, di, di, pag ito, na, uh, pag ito ay nag, uh, uh, what you call this? Uh, during the cooling and solidification, no, magiging rocks na yan siya, okay? So, don't forget that rocks are association of volcanic eruption, okay? And the liquid that we see coming from volcano is called magma, okay? This is the liquid that coming from uh, the volcano are called magma. So, when magma reaches the earth's surface, is known as lava, okay? So, ibig sabihin, this is the magma here. When it reaches the Earth's surface, it's called lava. So this is called lava because it reaches the Earth's surface. And now, uh, so the cooling, the cooling and solidification of lava at the exter at the 
the cooling and the solidification of, of magma of lava rather of lava at the extrusive at the at the earth's surface rather at this earth's surface resulting the information of extrusive rocks also known as volcanic rock okay so here the cooling and solidification of rocks okay so next month we have some of the magma can come out no mm, yung, yung some of the magma cannot come out to the volcano that can come out and settle inside the end and next like, settle siya inside the surface or uh, this is what we call dito na siya hindi siya makakalabas so na stuck na siya so that dead end na niya so that is uh, what we call uh intrusive rocks okay the magma cools slowly no na magko-cool slowly no yung uh, magma and then the beneath the earth surface completely surrounded by soil and rock the cooling and solidification of magma result in the formation of rocks. So, yan, mabubuo na yung rocks. Okay, having large crystals known as intrusive rocks. So, igneous rocks were first to be formed and known to be primary rocks. So, always remember that uh, igneous rocks is, the, is a primary rocks, okay? And uh, first to be the origin, you know, origin of the rocks okay first we know as the origin of the rocks and we have here now the question so going back to our question we have a rock form from solidification and crystallization of molten rocks called magma it is also called mother of all rocks which is the mother of all rocks meaning the primary the origin of all rocks so we have here letter a igneous rock b intrusive rock c extrusive rock and d metamorphic rock so the correct answer when you talk about mother of all rocks the primary rocks where is the rock's origin that is igneous rock so the correct answer is, here is igneous rock okay so we already know that the cooling and solidification of the rock that is outside the volcano is called extrusive rock and when it comes to you know um uh naman sa baba naman no below the below the earth surface no pag hindi makalabas ang magma it is called intrusive rock of the cooling and the solidification of rock so it is called intrusive rock rock so yung metamorphic rock naman natalakay natin yan sa next video and it is na kanina sinabi ko yung what uh, those types of uh rocks okay so thank you very much for watching this video and I hope marami kayong uh, and I hope marami kayong uh, natututunan no sa ating uh, videos na ito and uh, uh encourage you guys to do not forget to subscribe subscribe hit the subscribe button below and also the notification bell for you to be notified if I have any videos to be uploaded and do not forget to like and share uh Pwede i-mention yung mga kaibigan na uh, nagre-review or makakilakay, may kakilala kayo nagre-review guys and don't na, don't have yet an idea no on how to start uh, reviewing for Leia and uh, I will here to help you guys without any cost okay so hopefully madami kayong makapasa this coming Leia license examination for agriculture 2020 or 2021 or so on and so forth so uh, thank you very much for watching this video and uh, uh, do not forget to pray and uh, always put God first. Bye-bye for now.